I won't uh, voice say. She's just a breath of fresh bubbly air. <laughs> I just find her I just find like, getting to voice her tits fun, because I always like you know, like a little pep in every word. Positively. <laughs> And it looks like the TV's back on for your enjoyment, Ayn. Oh, hey! Have a good night, Crimson. Thank you for chilling on. And remember, the VODs will come out every other day, 6 p.m. on YouTube. And my channel. So you can just keep up with the rest of the series if you're catching up. Have a good night, Crimson. Still and say make me a bit jealous. Alright, Ayn. Yeah, we'll... uh... What are we rocking with tonight? Oh boy, that's two clips from Kappa that has you completely breaking. Oh no. Yep. Oh no, oh no, no, mm -hmm. no. Oh no, no, no. Oh. And then my Discord users <laughs> took pictures, like Crimson, of me in my slime form smiling after that redeem earlier too. <laughs> that's wonderful to see. You will have to see it. Gonna keep it simple we're just gonna have like four songs on repeat sure 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 <clears throat> four songs on repeat and no argument that skylines make it into the list now is there yes yes <laughs> goodness gracious on you are so adorable Here we go. Back. Looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself, make no mistake. But I guess I cooled down a bit. I say helped a lot with that one, though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I got into a burning building with a two centimeter deep cut. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Ah, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stoa's unofficial bodyguard, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kinds of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard. That's Buster! Pretty cool guy! He played football professionally until he lost his wedding in a demolition derby. We've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. So, so wait, hold on. Is this like an actual gorilla, or is it just like a body-built man? It's probably a body-built man considering what do you think in which city they want an actual gorilla play football and participate in a demolition derby? Yes. Your assumptions. <laughs> OMG, wow, cat girl. Hi, Kate. You missed out on Miss Stella earlier. She's what they call a cat boomer. Okay, boomer. <laughs> well, he got used to your replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump. And yet he can still run faster than me with it. True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A brown teeny. A big one. I'm in a good mood. One big Brantini for Stella. Yeah, please do check out the Valhalla series that we have on YouTube, Kate. I'm telling you, if, if you've been enjoying all the voice acting tonight or so, you would love the rest of the series since you're coming in at chapter 2, and I don't remember how long the game actually goes. Because it's been years since I played it, so I played it on release, I remember. Yay. 
After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried going to the restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. I say, looking down at the Little Caesars bots I've been mu munching on. The pizza, not the bots. Huh. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. Kate also says, I love Say, she's really buff Persona 3 Fuka. Fuka. <laughs> fuka, Fuka, Fuka. Lovely girl. I know what you mean when you say some, you know? You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you to something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the part I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. She started showing up more and more and that was it. <clears throat> My father told me that when I was five. I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. Ugh. Look at that blush on Stella's face. So cute. So you two have known each other for most of your lives? I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. An item? What kind of item? A couple, say. Oh, uh, I... Yeah, I get it now. It's funny, because we actually earned the mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. Three years in a row. So you two didn't go to the same high school? No. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends... Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kind to eat raw Bronson roots every morning. <sighs> but around me, he was... different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad but yeah he's the one that comes to mind when i think about childhood friends oh hey joe what's this bloom white a spicy drink tastes nice the first time but it gets samey after a while it's also brown for some reason give me one of those please i'll have one too on it Two bloom lights for the girls. Kate also goes in chat. OMG them. <clears throat> Stoa and Say are such a cute pairing. Oh my god. They are so cute. And I support it wholeheartedly. I've already done the math, don't worry. Never mind, I fucked up the math. <laughs> I need that clipped. You literally had it right as you dragged <laughs> one more over. I false one! <laughs> You can't count. I already know the math proceeds to not do the math. <laughs> I made absolutely worse drink as to leave Valhalla. We love opposite spectrum color coded girlfriends. Yeah, can I tell Ayn and I are also yellow and green. We're same spectrum. Isn't that right? What? Huh? Love you. Uh, sure. You see, that's about the reset if you need iron to reset on you. Aged on the rocks and mixed. Okay, so oh. eight, two, four, six. Or two, four. No, if I say that, six, I'm gonna three, screw it up. Eight, one, five, two, eight, seven, one, three, five. Cruzy? Yeah? 
Cruzy. Yes. Please shut up. <laughs> yes. I'm mixing. You're mixing. Let me mix. <laughs> what is bro cooking? Here. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah. But after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Coarse and rough, and it gets everywhere. Ooh! Oh, that is timid low height. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that and she must still be tired. From the whole bank thing? She told me about everything that happened in here. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nano machine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process, uh, process of PTSD. That's the second flub up. Yeah, love you too. It's mandatory <laughs> for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. Still, you only can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and Poise is still paying for it. The disbanding of the white knights and subsequent persecution of those who are identified as former members. It's unfair, you know? Among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals. Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the god's favor, I think. But, you know, all that made me realize I might be a bad person. How? When I saw Sei, wounded, asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. <sighs> How sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows, maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come say, let's get hamburgers and go home. Ugh. Yeah. ha. We'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Holy shit, it's Kim! Ah, Kim! Welcome! What? <laughs> I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Let's give a sunshine cloud to Kim. I haven't seen her since, like, the first stream of this. Yeah. Someone's hose? I did flub that. You can add that to the counter. I was still winding out of the accent for Stella right there, and then I flubbed it. <laughs> pat pat for the boomer cat girl. I feel bad for her. I kind of relate. It, you know, I. It's honestly a real thing. I will say though, of like, you know, like, you can be a big support for somebody, or like, or, but when the when everything flips on its head, it really does make you feel like you get to understand and appreciate the dynamic that you've had with your friends. Mm hmm. And also really recognize how much work, you know, one person might have been putting into the friendship more than you. I'm not saying that as a negative. I'm seeing this more as an introspective point of really 
not taking your friends for granted and seeing how much they get to do for you. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Here. Ah, thanks. So, how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep, I went straight to the office of that chauvinistic horseblower and told him I quit! Why did you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it, only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. Thanks for demonetizing me, Kim. Mm. After that, I didn't have time left, so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts. Even if you do what you want, you'll stay, still think, what if? You'll you'll stink. Maybe the alcohol is getting to me. Even <laughs> so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... Ah. Uh, what I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel free. I should free. be flubbing Kim considering how compared to the first stream where she was absolutely wound up, I'm actually just getting to treat her voice just normal and I'm still messing her up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling, you know? I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I can still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in, well, never. I will say though, my heart goes out to any and all journalists, so since that is one of my jobs, I am only a freelancer on my side, but that is a lot more freedom on that end rather than the crap I've seen some of my friends go through. Yeah. Journalism is hard. Like, unironically, past all, all the people saying an AI wrote this and past, you know, all the things about gaming or esports journalism isn't real. Or, you know, any politics, but we already covered that earlier on in the mm -hmm. stream. Journal actual getting a good reputation and keeping up with the journalism is fucking hard, dude. Yeah. Hmm. What about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do and all that? But I'm not here about that. Get me a big drink, please. What kind? Uh, I don't know. Bubbly or something? Bubbly... something big and bubbly, huh? I was gonna say bubbly like me, but then I realized no, I am not big. One cringe weaver. <laughs> <laughs> we could just give her a cringe. You're like gonna a... knock her I... out as soon as she's saying, I quit my job? Cruzy. I mean, cheers. Cruzy, I hate you. You have conditioned me to say cringe weaver. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. I hate this. I hate this. I need, I'm gonna need you in Verhelia's voice to say, One cringe weaver, please, later on. No, no. no. I, will, I will pay you so much money. To do that. You sort of did a big beer? Ask you quit from Donovan D. Dawson who only buys big beers? You need it's a mod to change the cringe train. weaver? We were talking about if there's Val there's gotta be Valhalla mods, it's just a visual novel, right? It shouldn't be too hard to mod it. Hmm. It's, uh, it's quite a bit of karma dream, but I think I mean, whatever you want. Right, frankly. Well, uh, you can add it actually to your towel. You knocked out Say with that last drain, so you're up to three people passing out now. So we'll see if Kim also hits the rots. <sighs> your choice, right. mate. Cobalt Velvet. Here. If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. It'll also kill things inside you. 
I gotta ask, though. How did you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. To be honest, I got tired of that job midway through it, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave. <sighs> Too much pressure from my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. Didn't you have troubles like these? Like those? Ah. Nice. Or, I'm always tying you the stream. <laughs> Same story as you. I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom. A little pause. To stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Uh... Um, give, give me a, a... Something! Something? Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything won't do. Alright. She asked for, um... Something. Literally. One cringe we... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Let's try a sugar rush. Just a nice sugar rush. Yeah. Yeah. No alcohol. There you go. I mean, you did kind of pour on the karma machine, so maybe you did burn a ton with that. Just a little, yeah. Yeah. Here. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it. I I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want, study whatever I want, work wherever I want. I know it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks. I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. <sighs> you should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey! Oh, no. Ah, Dorothy. Sorry, we're just closing. I know. I came for you. For me? Wh why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. All night. Long. Come again? To put it simply, Dorothy will go with home with you, and she won't leave your side. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm down that rage you had earlier. It was either huds or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there will be any water in it. You calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany, or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. It's not. You need HUDs. Many. You need some human... Uh, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time, now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. <sighs> no mistakes. And treat yourself. Buy something nice for you and Dorothy. 
holiday mood. Buying a mega Christmas tree will prevent her from getting distracted. Oh, I... Are we just gonna shop and call it, or do you want to go one more day? Yeah, we can call it after I get the uh, Christmas tree and look through the news and all that stuff. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, I didn't even realize we were cutting it close on that. Ooh. I just said... We were almost there. Alright, what's on the augmented eye and all? Uh, let's see... <clears throat> Quincy studies the possibility of allowing imports. Glitch City is one of the few places on Earth that's strictly self-sufficient with an import rate of only 0.8%. However, that might change due to recent shortages across the city. Prime Minister Quincy revealed this morning that the government plans to have a more relaxed policy for importers. We won't lift the currency control, but we can provide them a foreign currency at a low fixed rate. That way, we can secure essential items at affordable prices, Quincy told AE. Some experts say that private companies are no longer working at full capacity, which is unsurprising news given that Quincy government has seized most of them, resulting in the shortage crisis in the first place. Is Chair Miki the biggest pop idol in history? The world at large is still coming to terms with the idea of the womb being so quickly integrated into our society. Some say they can't be treated as human because they're immortal and as such, can't really understand what it's like to be alive, but most of the Chair Miki fandom would disagree. Anti Loam people are insane! To me, Mickey knows more about life than I do, and I'm older than this damn city! Richard Snow, 55, told the Augmented Eye during a fan gathering. I'm with Richard, added Nacho. Sits. I may be a dog, but I'm utterly fascinated with the way she writes about things in her blog. She's impressed by everything, and nobody really knows what life's about anyway. Hmm. Little and receiving mysterious messages. Halloween was back in October, but this terrifying tale didn't become popular until now. Reports say that Lilum across the city have been receiving strange transmissions with messages that are confusing at best and threatening at worst. The contents are not clear, as most of the Lilum can't remember exactly what they had heard. But the, mo but the most mysterious thing of all is perhaps the fact that they that the Lilum could not record any of these messages while they were broadcasting. It was almost as if something had blocked the Lilum from doing so. While we have nothing but anecdotal proof, but even among our own Lilum, the mystery behind these messages is one we should be paying attention to. Uh, Monster Girlfriend Shirari. Can't stop playing this game. Gorgeous graphics, innovative and addictive battle system, fun dating minigames, cute girl, that fucking music. Is this the goat? I don't know. Do you like the goat girl? <laughs> I'm going to marry a goat. It's an alright game. An 8 out of 10 at most. Shit game. No, it's a shitty game for idiot waifu bots like you. Wish this waifu equals bad game meme would die. It's a stupid game wandering to, pandering to idiots. Ah, club. Guns. Shut. Are we being raided by normies? M -m normies. Fuck off. Fun things are fun. You're not allowed to have fun with video games. Can't you believe go. it. You can't have fun with video games. All right. Well, we'll save it there. That is six oh. iron flubs to four cruisy flubs. Shut. And... Well, would you like to say anything more before we go offline tonight? Oh, give me a second. I gotta stretch. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Alrighty. Well, if you have been watching up to this point, please make sure that you are subscribed to Cruzy's YouTube channel. Make sure you're following them on Twitch and Twitter. And make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified whenever they go live anytime. Mm -hmm. uh, as for me, you can also follow me on Ein, uh, on Twitter and YouTube as well. Uh, using Ein I can't Falsewood. believe we can follow you on Ein. Wow. Yeah, you can follow you can follow Ein on Ein. It's it's a crazy world, I know. <laughs> um, but real talk, uh, I don't have anything posted as of this year currently on my YouTube channel. Hopefully that will be changing in the near future. Uh, but if you are interested to see what could possibly come to that channel, feel free to just... Uh, I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. Well, That's about it. And at least for now, thank you everybody for joining Ayn and I for what is the longest stream of, I think, 2024 at Kraken and at 4 hours and 41 minutes. It's been your wonderful wind maid, your cruise ship servant, Chartreuse Proxy, ever and always at your service. Thank you everybody for joining this wonderful Valhalla night. Would you be free next week to continue this Ayn? Probably not as on, but next week would be good, potentially, hopefully, mm -hmm. maybe so. Possibly. I'm working at my shift. I've got a noon to 8.30 next week, so oh boy, we'll see how that goes. 
But at least for now, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening, or night, at least from my side of the world, have a wonderful night now, everybody, and thank you all once more.